For example, number 7, we have y equals 3 over cube root of x raised to 5 plus 4 over 5 fourth root of x raised to 7 plus 3 over 2 fifth root of x raised to 2. So in order for us to simplify this one, we need to convert the radical form into exponential form and rewrite it on the numerator. So to simplify this one, let us rewrite the radical form into exponential form. This is 3 over x raised to 5 over 3 plus 4 over 5 x raised to 7 over 4 plus 3 over 2 x raised to 2 over 5. So to simplify this one, let us rewrite the variable x in the numerator. Since we have positive, we are going to have negative this time. So this is 3 x raised to negative 5 over 3 plus 4 over 5 x raised to negative 7 over 4 plus 3 over 2 x raised to negative 2 over 5. So let us find the derivative. We have y prime equals derivative of 3 x raised to negative 5 over 3 plus the derivative of 4 over 5 x raised to negative 7 over 4 plus the derivative of let us write rewrite this one as derivative of 3 over 2 x raised to negative 2 over 5 so to simplify this one let us rewrite as y prime equals to find the derivative, let us multiply 3 by negative 5 over 3. So we have 3 times negative 5 over 3. x raised to negative 5 over 3 minus 1 plus 4 over 5 times negative 7 over 4. x raised to negative 7 over 4 minus 1 plus 3 over 2 times negative 2 over 5 x raised to negative 2 over 5 minus 1. So to simplify this one, let us have um, y prime. We can cancel 3. This will give us negative 5. x raised to negative 5 over 3 minus 1, that is negative 8. Or negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. Copy the denominator 3. And then we can cancel 4. This is negative 7 over 5. x raised to negative 7 over 4 minus 1, that is negative 11 over 4, or negative 7 minus 4 is negative 11, copy the denominator 4. And we can cancel 2, this will give us negative 3 over 5, x raised to negative 2 over 5 minus 1, that is negative 7, or simply negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7 over 5. So let us eliminate the negative sign on the exponent so we have y prime equals negative 5 over x raised to 8 over 3 minus 7 over 5 x raised to 11 over 4 minus 3 over 5 x raised to 7 over 5 so in order for us to simplify this one let us write this one into radical form so we have y prime equals negative 5 over cube root of x raised to 8 minus 7 over 5 fourth root of x raised to 11 minus 3 over 5 fifth root of x raised to 7. On the first expression, since our index is 3, we are going to cut x raised to 8 by exponent 3 because our index is 3 so we have y prime equals negative 5 over cube root of x cube x cube x squared so if you are going to add up the exponent it will give us 8 minus 7 over 5 and this time our index is 4 so we are going to cut the exponent 11 by 4 x raised to 4 x raised to 4 and then x cubed minus 3 over 5. This time, the index is 5. So let us cut 7 by 5. So that is 5 and um, 2. 
because our index is 5. So to simplify this one, we have y prime equals negative 5. And since we have 2x cubed, which is perfect cube inside the radical sign, it will give us x squared cube root of x squared minus 7 over 5. Since we have 2x raised to 4, that is x squared, the squared, it indicates the number of perfect fourth root inside the radical sign. So we have fourth root of x cubed minus 3 over 5. And since we only have 1, x raised to 5, this is x raised to 1 or simply x, fifth root of x squared. So therefore, this will be the derivative of the given function. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.